Hey there gamers, uh, back here with another boss guide for you guys. This is the first in our uh, series here for Valheim. Uh, so you see I'm, it's on our world we've already finished, but brought a new character in for y'all to show you. So skills don't look a little weird. Um, basic setup you should have when you're going to fight the first boss. Just have some wood arrows, bow, the torch, uh, club. We'll have you just make some cooked meat and grab some raspberries. You can even grab mushrooms if you want. Completely up to you. But you'll get the first boss's location from here. So you can see there's multiple boss locations on the map. But we're going to go to this one over this way for a demonstration today. And of course it's night and it's raining. So it's just going to be so much better. Of course, the bird won't shut up. He never shuts up. No matter how many playthroughs now, I uh, do not like that bird. Let's see, even we have some mushrooms right here. Get a little over 75 health. First boss doesn't hit hard, anyways. You just need to make sure you have the tools to kill him, or he'll uh, he'll kill you before your durability wears out on your things. So here's his little altar here. Uh, you know, you can read the rune stones. They give you hints on how you summon him. So it says Hunted Kin. Just wants you to get some deer trophies. You only need two to summon him. So we'll go ahead and do so. You can kill him with the club and the torch. However you want to do it. The bow is going to be the easiest way for all of you. Uh, little quick tips. These stones right here. He can't break those stones. But the lightning will go through. So just be careful of that. a little damage. Not too bad. This boss has three moves. The first was the fortal beam. That was the second, the uh, AoE beam. Third being the melee swing. Generally run in a, in a circle. He should be getting ready to do his, his forward beam on me. Pretty easy to dodge. Unfortunately, he doesn't hurt the Graylings. And you can just kite him around these stones here. He's not too bad. Not a scary boss. Take a little damage, though, if you're too close for some of these attacks. Frontal, AoE, and now he should be coming over to do melee. You can just dodge roll out of the way with the iframes. He's not scary. You can take damage from him. He's not going to murder you immediately. Just watch your stamina. Pre pre dodge things, and like I'm doing myself. If you need to, just heal up a little bit. Doesn't help. It's raining right now, and I'm wet. Got a pretty far AoE, so he can't get you good there. Use him to cut down the forest as well if you like. It's not too bad. Usually a good idea to run pretty far away from the AoE. It's got a really good range to it. Being careless, since I have so much health right now, but, you know, play how you want to. Just trying to bait him in. Just play chicken around the stone with him if you like. He's got a pretty big hitbox too, so you could potentially just outmaneuver him. And and there you go.
Use a little over 30 arrows on that. Just make sure you have a full stack just in case. You should now have your trophy to go put on your your stones to get your Ike Fear buff. And then you also have your antlers to make your pickaxe. So you can move on to your next materials in the Black Forest with your tin and copper. Speaking of which, we'll be heading to the Elder next. Stay tuned for next time. Thanks for watching.